All right, let's say I've got this beautiful Jamboard. It's a check for understanding. So I've got each slide is the exact same problem. I'm gonna send students to breakout rooms to work in groups of two or three. And in their breakout room, they're going to um, work on their slide and demonstrate their understanding. But the only problem is wah, wah, I'm using Google Meet and I don't have breakout rooms. At least I won't for at least another month. So here is the beautiful um, hack. So I've got my students, that's my class roster. I'm gonna create um, an extra column right here. And in that extra column, I'm gonna type in HTTPS uh, colon slash slash. And then that's gonna go meet.google.com slash lookup slash. And then I'm gonna name uh, that's the given. You have to type that part in. And then I'm going to name the room anything I want. How about demo room one? All right, and I'll hit return. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see that there it is. Now, uh, one of the things I'm going to do is let's undo the, the link because I don't want the link right now. Okay, so now I'm going to just drag it down. Now, check out what Google does. Whoa, bam, it automatically updates room one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, these are not links right now, so here's how you do it. Nice, nice little hack. You just click on that top cell and you hit your return key and you hit your return key again. Whoa, bam, done. Return, 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 return. And you just go straight down the line and it turns each of those into an actual link. So now what's going to happen is the students, when they go to this slide or this um, spreadsheet, they will be able to find their name, see which room they're going to click on. And what it's going to do is this is going to open up. In fact, I can do that right now. In fact, let's close some of these windows so it's not so big and massive. Uh, so we're going to just click and we can open up each of these links right here and I can do this now that it's so easy so now I am opening up the links and so then I've got them all you see all the tabs going up look at that demo room one demo room two etc demo room three so all I have to do is join join and I could just tab over to each of these tabs and open up every single classroom. Wa-bam. And last, wa-bam. And it's thinking, there it is, room 10, room 9, room 8, room 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now here's the cool thing. If you notice, when you look in, when you use this cool trick, it's only going to allow people inside your domain uh, <clears throat> to access this. So it's also kind of safe. Uh, you don't have to worry about strangers outside of your domain. Only people who are actually logging in with your domain email address are going to be able to access this. Now, what does this mean? This means you are in every single one of these rooms simultaneously. You can use, you can use a uh, tile tab. It's a nice Chrome extension that allows you to kind of place all of these separate tabs in a nice grid format so you can see all the rooms simultaneously. Now I'm doing it manually. You don't want to have to do that manually. Uh, so the tile tab is a great Chrome extension that lets you kind of sort these quickly so that you can see every single room all at the exact same time. Isn't that kind of cool? All right, and there you go. So uh, then, by the way, then what am I going to do? Well, I need them to start working on their Jamboard, don't I? So I'm going to click on that share button and I'm going to change the link so that anybody with the link can edit. Now I'm also probably going to change it to only my domain so that the students are forced to log in with their email address, their domain, their school issued email address. Right now I'm going to just change it to anyone with the link. Can edit. I'm going to copy that link. And then look at this, I could go back to my spreadsheet uh, and I can add another column 
Well, bam. And right here, I could put their Jamboard link. Oopsies, undo. And I can, let's see, hurry up. There we go, paste in, paste in, paste in, paste in. So I'm just keep going like this. Unfortunately, I only have 10. I could have done it. There's a little faster way, but I'm, I'm just kind of doing that. And then, so there you go. You can now see that we've got one column for the um, Google Meet breakout room, one column for the, the Jamboard. Now, this is all the same link, whereas these are different links for, per room. And there you go. So if I'm Shirley, I know to click on this link to open up the Jamboard and this link to open up my breakout room. Pretty easy hack. It's probably going to work just for a few more weeks until Google comes out with the inevitable update for actual breakout rooms.